back to another episode with me, Katashikun, playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Today I'll be trialing the Human Adept with these guys. They do not listen and they tend to leech around me. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's try and see how far we can get in this. This is bronze, but it's an apex mission, so it's, it's bound to be harder. It's about the gone... So there's something gone berserk. The new little side wave where I think the Ket have performed an uh, exaltation on a Krogan soldier. Therefore making some behemoth Krogan morphed enemy type thing. I don't know. I'm going by the image. I have no nothing to back me until I see it in this game. But um... I'm interested. I'm interested to see what this enemy deals. It's going to be armor, obviously. Wow. Okay. That went fine. But, um... Yeah, it'll be interesting. So this guy comes with three abilities. He's a biotic, of course. He comes with three abilities. One is pull. Come on, man. The other's singularity. And the right one is... Shockwave. They're pretty good, considering um, two are primers and one is kind of like a consistent detonator, if you get my meaning, because um, if you if I throw a shockwave, you see how it kind of goes wah, 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 into the distance? So each one of those is something that can damage the enemy, and if we have loads of, if I say put a singularity, see if I can do it, let's see if I can do it in front of you guys. If I do this... And then I go like that. Everyone in this line essentially gets biotic combo, which is an increase in damage, an increase, a massive increase in area of effect damage as well. And um, if you do it with other people, it's a way to get points, it's an assist bonus. There's loads of things beneficial to get by doing biotic combos. It's a quicker way to take down armored targets as well, especially biotics. They seem to just rip apart armored targets. Unfortunately, we don't have the abilities like in Mass Effect 3 with um, warp and the biotic combo that delivered, <clears throat> because that had um, that had powers specifically within its tree that allowed the easier takedown of armored targets. And the fact that when you do a biotic combo, it deals additional damage on top of the additional one it already gives. But um, as as way this character goes, I'll, I'll steal that kill from you. Thank you. I'm called Savage. Um, the way this character goes in terms of playability, I played him quite a lot. He's actually a really fun, fast-paced character to play with. And I find myself, um, if enemies duck out of cover and they've got a shield, I take down the shield quickly through. Um, weapons that penetrate the floor, as you can see. You not penetrate the floor, but penetrate walls. I do that, and then I get rid of their shield, and then I use pull to take them out of the shield that they're cowering under. Oh, there's a wraith there. And then, when I've pulled them up, I use shockwave. Or if there are a load of them in an area, I use singularity to pull all of them up and then Shockwave to give all of them a biotic combo, because they get damage. The more there are clustered in a little area, the more damage everyone is going to receive as a whole because of the amount of biotic combos being set off. Why the hell didn't... Why aren't you dying? Just fucking... Five damage? Come on. Fuck's sake, man. It's a wraith. But anyway, um... Yeah. Um, but yes, this character is <clears throat> one of the more well-balanced ones. It is a starter character as well, which is slightly disappointing. I feel like possibly 
the way this guy's set out, the way he performs in battle and his abilities that he currently has, he should be something of at least an uncommon or a rare class for humans. I mean, humans, after all, aren't meant to be biotic. They're not meant to have these powers. So for a human biotic to be a common class, it, it's a bit strange. It's a bit strange, if you ask me. Get guys down. Rip. Has he got him? He's got him. He's got him! So, um... Yeah, biotic humans should not be in a common class. They should be uncommon, if anything. They're more common because um, people are getting trained in activating the biotics. But it doesn't mean it's, it's not something that's widely known. Like, Asari are naturally biotic. So you can have an un you can have a common class of Asari. They're going to be biotic in some way, shape, or form. Humans are probably going to be combat power-based or tech-based. So to have a biotic as a common class is probably... It's, it's just wrong. In my eyes, it's wrong. It, it's just, it shouldn't happen, really. Singularity goes in. Enemies go wub wub wub. I wub 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 the enemies. Two biotic combos happen there. If you can listen to the explosions. Hello! Are you my friend? No, okay. But... The thing this guy lacks is the ability to take down shields. I say lax at the beginning of this character's development. What does happen though is during the end game of this character, when you've fully upgraded or reached level 20 with him, you can work on the pull stat to actually deal major damage to shielded enemies because, like I was saying before, biotic, biotic, um, biotic characters and people, they're kind of adept at, oh, uh, adept pun there, um, they're kind of adept at taking down armoured targets. And Paul gets that ability to kind of like shred 600 off a person's shield. If their shield doesn't get destroyed, they can't get lifted, but if it does with this additional ability, then they get lifted and then you can basically lift a shielded enemy. But like I said, you need to upgrade Paul to max. If you don't upgrade Paul, you're upgrading Singularity and Shockwave. You get some pretty decent things from Singularity. You can get an ever-expanding one for the duration of its lifetime. So if you're doing that one, you're probably going to have to, um, you know, sink some points into duration instead of any of its other abilities, like a like a increasing in radius and things like that. And if you're going to do Shockwave, then you can increase the, the Shockwave's distance, you can increase its damage and force, and you can even make it a, um, a combat primer for biotic abilities instead of a detonator. However, for this character, I'd say that I'd probably leave it as a detonator. Singularity can also go into... Oh jeez, wrong power. Singularity can also blow up dealing additional damage on top of the damage it already deals per second when an enemy is already in it. So if you can count the seconds and keep in time with how long the singularity has got left to live, you can prime the singularity to explode, dealing additional damages to the enemy and who's around it. If you increase the radius, it obviously means you're going to do more damage to the people around you as well. What the fuck are you doing, man? Fuck! There you go. With this guy as well, he's relatively light build, he's a human adept, can't really carry much shit, so I've got an equalizer and a scorpion. Down. Oh man, why are you staying in? Jeez. Jeez. Jesus! Wub 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 Fuck! There we go. So, uh... I'm gonna just leave them... Well, oh, I can't, I can't just, I can't just let them take them down by, myself, by themselves. Oh, fuck. 
Man. Glitchy as fuck trying to get up that spot. My god. Oh, you made me clear. <coughs> Anyone gonna revive me? Guys, honestly, the amount of fucking times I revive you. You're literally... J-Rock, are you... Come on, man. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Have it your way, for fuck's sake. Fine. <sighs> really? Really, J Rock? Really? 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 You fucking run away from me. You know what you fucking did. They can't actually hear me. I'm in party chat, so I'm talking by myself because I have no friends. Of course I have friends. Haha. <laughs> Um, but yes, I haven't seen something's gone berserk. I haven't seen that happen. Info on a new target. Oh, oh, okay, so that thing. Well, disappointing as I haven't seen what the picture seems to be advertising. The picture seems to show a Krogan mutated by the Geth. Oh my god, not the Geth, the cat. Oh fuck, I don't want you to grab me. Go away. No way! Fuck off, man! What's your obsession with me? Am I that meaty? There's a Krogan over there, you know. Fuck! Oh my god, you are actually in love with me, aren't you? Look, I just don't roll that way. Fuck. I'm more in love with him. I'm more in love with him! Fuck off! Oh! No, go away from it! Jesus. Jesus Christ! Fantastic! Punch the shit out of everything, what? Oh man. You're annoying. Just knock you out of the way. They've got with him. Is the love of my life still there? Oh, he seems to have died. Fuck oh, off. Piece of shielded shit. Fuck. How many? Well, I guess I should thank you for that. If we live, I'll thank you. Fuck off. Oh, the love of my life is still there. This is... I'm not interested. I know I'm meant to be taking out targets. I am aware of that. I'm not just ignoring them. I'm hoping... For the love of Christ, I'm hoping... They can freaking deal with it. Oh my god. That's Prima! Why aren't you fucking doing anything? These, this is probably one of the most dysfunctional teams I have ever played with. They were all together fighting this one fucking thing and they couldn't take it down. What the fuck? Anywho.
that was that character, and as you can see, the carry was disgusting. This is bronze. The carry was horrible. What did I get as a reward? Cap Mastery Silver. Oh, great, yeah! Upgrade his skills, I got three points. I should really do offensive biotics and get out to at least that. So I'm gonna do that. So, Singularity, like I was saying, damage per second holds enemies up. If you tap the button again, it ends the effect early. Going up to rank 3 is standard, you got recharge speed and damage per second. Uh, rank 4, you got duration and radius. For me and my playstyle, I think I'll go radius. I want to affect a larger radius so it can block off an area more. And if anyone just happens to just get slip, slip into the, a tiny bit, then they'll get... They'll get pulled in. So if it was smaller, they might be able to get through some gaps. Um... Anti-shield or recharge speed? I'd definitely go with anti-shield. I'd definitely go with anti-shield because it affects armored enemies. It doesn't lift them, but it, it coats them. And with a shielded enemy, I want to get them unshielded and I want to be able to lift them so that they're not doing anything to people. And 150% damage versus shields, that's great. Next, exploding singularity or expanding singularity. Radius expands by 200% over time, so over this lifetime. So if I do that as it is now, duration is 8 seconds, so it'll expand by 200% over 8 seconds. And at now it's at 3 meters, so it'll probably be a 6 meter kind of expansion going on there. Exploding Singularity. Singularity explodes after the effect ends dealing damage in a 7 meter radius. Area damage 350, force is 700. It's probably gonna fling some people away as well as damage an area quite decently with 350. This is probably what I'll go for in terms of my playstyle of this character. I'll do it a Singularity. Exploding Singularity. So I'll go up to 3 standard rank 4. I'll go Radius, rank 5 I'll go Anti-Shield, and rank 6 I'll go Exploding Singularity. Pull. Now, as you can see, I haven't done anything for pull, mainly because I'm trying to get the other uh, main hitting powers up. Pull, like I said, I was only using to pull enemies out the cover that they're in, and if, they, if I am using pull, they're not going to be shielded. P pull up to rank 3 is the same, it's just standard, recharge speed and duration of them being held in the air. Rank 4, duration again, or radius, so you can pick up more. You have the possibility of picking up more than one unarmored, unshielded enemy. Duration again, you can lift them up for longer, gives you more time to trigger their destination. Rank 5, crushing grip or defense debuff. Effective targets take more damage from all sources. Crushing grip, take targets take damage while in the air. I'll do crushing grip. They can float, they can take damage, and if they get primed by a com, if they get detonated, even better. More damage all around. Rank 6. Anti-shields, biotic drain. Restore shields are pulling and maintain a hold on enemy, or drains enemy shields on initial hit, but targets whose shield endure still cannot be lifted. Shield damage bonus 600. That's great. That's a great little boost. It's almost as much as a combat power, with it's a thousand. Like a frag grenade, with it's a thousand damage. Against the shield, this would be good because it drains the shield on hit with the 600 damage. And if the shield breaks, you can then lift the enemy, etc. Bardic damage, bardic combos, everything. Everything can affect it at that point. Bardic drain, rest shield restores per second 10. I reckon 10% shield restoration per second isn't that great. I mean, this, this requires you to hold the button down so that they can stay beside you. As it says, pull is maintained. And I think this will be more beneficial if you have the Radius perk unlocked to pick up two enemies. That way you have 10% per enemy and you have 20% shield restoration per second. That I'd see as more benefit, but for my playstyle I think I'll do shield damage bonus 600. Shockwave. 1, 2 and 3 standard. Recharge speed and damage force. Rank 4 damage force or Radius. 
I'll probably go damage force again. It already hits quite a large area as it is. I don't think it needs to be. It says 1.5. It doesn't say meters. But as you can see with. With that already. On the little demonstration left hand side. I think I'll go damage force. Rank 5, I'll definitely go reach. I want it to reach further. I don't want to have to be like one uh, shield bit away, like one bit of cover away from them. The one where he hits two people on the left on the demonstration, that is the reach. They actually kicked me, no way! They're not gonna do any bronze, my fucking god. Um, they, they basically haven't done a bronze since I've joined, I know, because I, I just let them do their shit. And they never completed anything until I started ordering them around, so good luck to them, GG. Um, anywho, I think I'll go reach for this. For this one, for my playstyle, I want to go reach. And for rank 6, lifting shockwave, no... This is what I was talking about. Shockwave can end up being a a primer instead of a detonator. If you look at the symbol above the circle on the top right, so I don't. This won't be me. This won't be for me. However, anti armor, yes. I want to affect it by a singularity, and I want to be able to um, deal more damage with the shockwave and the biotic combo mixed together. Offensive Biotics. The last two character based. Whoa. What was... What... Okay. Um, feel free to uh, skip forward until I am on the character again. Describing the build. Uh, weird. Um... Glitched out menu just then. Strange. Hen the time now. There we are. So I mean, this is the, all the build discussions I'm talking about is, is dependent on my playstyle. I mean, I've got information about them. I can talk about them. I can tell you what's what. What will go together, what won't go together, but it's all ultimately the pay depends on who's on your team, who can go, <clears throat> who can affect your strengths and weaknesses, who can bolster them, or who can basically shit on you more. Probably didn't, yeah, we didn't take that. I was gonna, I did that. So, offensive biotics, power damage, weapon damage, damage, force. Good for the first three. Rank four, power enhancement or power efficiency. Plus 15% all power recharge speed or power enhancement. I think I'll go power enhancement. I want as much power as I can. I'll still have 100% recharge speed and the powers don't really take that long to recharge in the first place. Rank five, exposure or combo detonation. Affected enemy affecting enemies with biotics now causes them to take increased damage from all sources. Thirty percent. I'll do combo detonation. I'll do combo detonation for the combo damage and combo radius. A larger explosion radius from the combo detonation, and it deals more damage to affected targets, which is great. So I'll probably do combo detonation. Rank six, biotic expert or biotic warrior. Increases power, damage, and force for three seconds after using a power. Power, damage, and force. Increases weapon melee and melee damage for three seconds after using a biotic power. During this time, melee attacks also knock down unarmored, unshielded, standard sized enemies. I reckon for me. Power damage and force, especially if I'm using shockwave, this will go hand in hand for for the powers being used. For biotic warrior, this isn't really a melee class. Maybe for the weapon damage bonus, I'd see that, but this isn't a melee class per se. He's he stands back. He puts. I'm using him as a melee in bronze, but it, it's bronze. 
my playstyle will differ according to Silver, and it definitely, oh man, my playstyle differs so much on Gold. Um, but for me, I'd go Biotic Expert, which increases the Biotic Damage and Biotic Force bonuses with the powers listed above. Barrier is the shield kind of equivalent for a Biotic. Uses Biotic abilities to augment standard kinetic barriers. The standard 25% max shields. 25% shield regeneration, health and shield regeneration, delay reduction. And rank 3 is 30% melee damage. All good stuff, all good stuff. I recommend getting at least the first two of these. The first two of these powers, the offensive biotics and barrier, to at least rank 3. Rank 4, unyielding barrier. 30% max shields, more biotic shield. Rank 4, recuperative barrier. Plus 30% health and shield regeneration delay, and plus 30% shield regeneration. I'd possibly go with unyielding barrier. I want more shields. Um, the delay reduction is not too bad, and plus 30% shield regeneration isn't that much. I don't know how it is as a standard anyway. I don't know the specific numbers, but for me, I probably want more shield. Rank 5. Increases maximum shields while at least one biotic effect is active on an enemy. So, if, say for instance, Singularity pulls up people. That's a biotic effect active on an enemy. They're being pulled and they're being primed for a combo. So that's all That's all good. Max shields of an effect or a biotic effect is active, 40%. Or shields restored by melee, 20% and 50% melee damage. I'll go with that. I know I said it's not a melee damage class, but if you are going in and you need, you know, you're running away from enemies and they happen, so one of them has happened to flank you and you're running at a shield, just hit them. Hit them, get that shield regen back. Plus you have 50% melee damage, so you might even kill them. If you can get two hits, it's 40% of your shield restored. Done. Rank 6, Active Barrier or Saving Barrier. Partially restore shields after taking down an enemy with biotic power. Or reacts to low health by automatically restoring shields to full strength once every 10 seconds. Low health threshold 25%. I'll go Saving Barrier. It seems like a serious clutch mechanism, Saving Barrier. Yeah, definitely. Shields restored on biotic kill, 10%. So if you're meleeing a person, I don't know if the biotic punch stands as a biotic kill, since it's technically a melee kill. What if that will count? Because if so, then it'd be 30% regeneration. But if not, and you've got like a singularity again, best thing to bank these up with, got singularity again, pulling up multiple people. That's 10% per person you end up killing with at Singularity and whatever you detonate or prime or kill them with. But it has to die with the biotic power. So for me, I'll go Saving Barrier. So up to rank 3, Standard. Rank 4, I'll go Unyielding Barrier. Rank 5, I'll go Barrier Drain. And rank 6, I'll go Saving Barrier. Anyway, thank you very much guys for watching this. I have to do the upgrade again. No, wrong one. There we go. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like this video, give me a subscribe, like the video, leave a comment section below if you want to see me do something in particular. But without further ado, guys, I'll see you in the next video where I'll be trialing another character. Thank you very much, and goodbye.